What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So I'm pumped up today. RCF did it again. So guys, I'm really excited, and I'm going to tell you why. The year is 2020. It's a different year, as you probably know. It's one of those years where we're not DJing out as much, we're pretty much DJing at home, right? The year of the streaming DJ. Some of us are 100% streaming at home and that's all we do right now, that's it. Others are lucky enough to have some gigs outside, but for the most part, we're still streaming at home more. When you stream at home, you gotta listen to yourself. You gotta hear yourself stream. And there's like two extremes to this, right? Like we either have a shitty stereo system at home or a Bluetooth speaker, you know, an Alexa that farts every time you play Drake, or we bring in a piece from our own personal PA system. So it's either shitty ass sound or complete overkill. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of PA system or what you're using to DJ out. If you bring that into your house, into a small room, I mean, it's just overkill. I had an RCF J mix that I was streaming with for the longest time. And don't get me wrong, it is like one of the greatest speakers of all time. It sounds so, so good, so much bass, everything. But I was using it in a 200 square foot room, like this little studio I have. It's 200 square foot, that's it. Like. It is so overkill. It was rattling my balls so much, I think my sperm count went down. Like, pictures would get knocked off the wall. One time, a couple months ago, I had an emo night, and my cat still has PTSD from it. <laughs> so yeah, there, I just can't play that shit in the house anymore. But anyway, don't need to worry anymore, people. DJs fear no longer. RCF came out with a studio line of speakers. Now, if you're new here, quick background story. Like, I'm really into sound, and I kind of blame RCF for that. A few years back, I discovered RCF on my own. I bought a set of their speakers, and I fell in love. I'm like, holy shit. These are the best sounding speakers I've ever heard. I will never go to another company again. This is, this is where I want to be, right? And then, like, I got their next, like, line up, right? And I'm like, these are even better. Holy shit. And I fell in love with their stuff. I'm not the type of guy that does product reviews. I'm not the type of YouTuber that talks about stuff or, you know, oh yeah, I'll take this money or take this free stuff and then do stuff. I, I don't do that. I really don't. And the reason being is whenever I get approached to say, hey, you know, do you want to talk about this? I'm just honest with people. I'm like, well, listen, I'll do a video on it. I'm happy to do a video on it. But if your shit sucks, I'm going to tell everyone that is watching, it sucks. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to just, whatever, sell out because I make a few bucks or I get free product. I, I don't give a shit about that. Like, I'm really just not going to lie. And RCF was one of the things that like when I tried them for the first time, I was just blown away. And I approached them a few years ago and I said, hey, listen, guys, like I love your stuff. I want to learn more about it. Why does it sound so good? All this. And do you mind if I make a few videos, you know, about it and just talk about it? I mean, I just I love your stuff. And that's kind of where the relationship grown. Like I, they didn't approach me. I approached them because I genuinely love RCF's shit. So obviously, when they're coming out with something like this, I gotta get my hands on it and I gotta hear these bad boys and I gotta experience them and they did not disappoint. Because I'm such a sound snob now, because I'm used to using RCF for pretty much everything, you know, any type of home solution I could figure out or even other monitors or whatever, I just didn't feel as much. But when these bad boys came out and I got to unbox them and I got to try them out, holy shit, it changed everything for me as far as live streaming. So these are the sixes, right? They come in a couple different sizes. So you got the fives, the sixes, the eights. They also have a 10 inch sub. Depending on your room, you know what I mean? I think for like a 200 to 400 square foot room, I think the sixes are great. Even the fives would probably bump in a small room like this, you know, but the sixes all day are perfect. You got a bigger studio or a bigger room you're kind of filling, maybe go with the eights, maybe toss a sub in there. I'm rattling on right now. Let's geek out with some specs and I'll explain why these things are the shit. The RCF Ira Pro are active professional studio monitors that will take a dump on any other monitor in its class. Ira Pro is the first studio monitor in its class to boast an outstanding zero zero degree phase response. All models are designed with FIR phase, a proprietary and advanced FIR filtering technology conceived for delivering transparent sound, absolute clarity, and perfect stereo images to the listener. Now I totally hate it when YouTubers just read off a spec sheet, so don't worry, I'm gonna break this down in the layman's terms so you can kinda understand how cool this shit is. Sound frequencies travel at different speeds when they're going to your speaker. So the higher the frequency, the faster it kinda travels, and the lower the frequency, the slower it travels. Now, if you just play sound through speakers, raw dog, without any type of processing whatsoever, the sounds will essentially come out the speaker at different times, which kind of would sound terrible, right? Now, we're talking about matter of milliseconds, 
But still, if the bass is getting there way later than the highs, then everything's not gonna sound right, and that's when speakers really, really sound bad. FIR phase is an algorithm that RCF builds into their speakers that essentially slows or speeds up the frequencies, so when they go out the speaker, when they come out the driver, they're coming out at the exact same time. So you're literally getting the sound that you're meant to get. Like the literal sound that when they made that song in the studio, like what they were hearing in the studio, like that's what you're hearing out of an RCF speaker. So one of the benefits of this is clarity, right? It's gonna be a super, super perfectly clear, amazing song, like no coloration, no like extra bass. How the sound is reproduced is absolutely perfect. But on top of that, when you have these frequencies coming out of the speaker at the exact same time, your speaker runs super, super efficient. So the subwoofer of the speaker only handles the kick drum and the bass line and the actual bass notes. And then the tweeter only handles the higher stuff, the singing and the strings or whatever. So it's more efficient, so you get the most out of a speaker. And that is why like this, with only a six and a half inch woofer, has some of the best low end like ever, like in my room, like it's insane the type of low end this thing pumps out. It's because it's running extremely efficient. Now I've been talking about streaming and the DJ end of things because that's how I'm using these speakers. I'm not a producer, but if you're a producer, and you're looking for a great set of studio monitors, I mean, this is literally perfect for all the reasons I just said. See, the point of a studio monitor is to give you the most perfect mix, the most perfect sound, clarity, like, because when you're producing something in a studio, you want it to sound great on the studio monitors and sound accurate enough on the studio monitors that you're confident that when you take it to a car stereo or you bring it to your AirPods or a home stereo, wherever, wherever you're playing it, it's gonna sound that good there as well. And that's the whole point of a studio monitor. So clarity is everything. And the technology they have in these things for its class and its price is insane. Which brings me to the price. This thing is going to MSRP for $199. Now, if you're a producer looking for studio monitors, I mean, this is a no-brainer. It's such a great investment, and you will not be disappointed. If you're a DJ, you know, you got to realize that moving forward, stream is going to be a big part of our lives, right? Even after everything's over and all the bullshit or whatever, like, stream is going to be a big part of our lives. We're always going to stream. It's just, it's just, it's a cool new way that we DJ. So I think investing in your home setup so you sound great, you look great, like, everything all around is super, super important. And I think this is is the absolute best option as far as sound for your home setup. And they're kind of sexy too. Now depending on when you're watching this, the speaker may or may not be available. It's coming out in a couple weeks. It's literally on the boat right now coming from Italy as I'm filming this video. But as soon as it comes out, if you follow my social medias, you follow my YouTube, I'm gonna be uh, updating the description of this video with the link so you can check it out once it's out and everything. And I'm also gonna update all my socials so I'll blow it up once it comes out and you'll know. We should have them by Thanksgiving people so it's definitely gonna be worth that wait. If you're interested in what kind of like speaker stands I'm using, I put the link there for your convenience as well. It's right on Amazon. I think these stands were like 70 bucks for the pair. So if you need like studio monitor stands, I mean, I think it's a good option. That's, that's what I use here. Let me know what you guys are doing as far as your home streaming setup. Like are you using a little shitty speaker like an Amazon Alexa or a Bluetooth thing? Or, or do you have a part of your PA system set up in your crib? Are you waking up your neighbors? Like let me know in the comments. I'm interested to see what you guys are up to. I appreciate every single one of you for tuning in every week and checking out my videos and listening to me scream my opinions. I really love you all. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.